So Omarchi is a configuration script that installs Hyperland into Arch Linux. And Hyperland is a compositor that implements the Wayland protocol, which means it's also a Windows server, like it's a windowing server then? Because Xorg isn't there, Xorg server is not there. So Hyperland is then its own windowing server in that way? That sounds accurate. And so that, okay, so that's all right. It matches with how I understand it. I'm not a developer on these things, so I don't fully understand them, but that all sounds correct. But you're like three classes ahead of us in school, you know? <laughs> so like, yeah, so we're just checking our work against yours. We still might all be wrong, but probably Carl's more <laughs> right than I am. And so bring that over to GNOME. Where does Wayland Com Compositor, Wayland Protocol, and a windowing server fit into GNOME? Is it like built into GNOME now? Essentially, yeah. I know the component in GNOME is called Mutter. That is the Wayland Compositor. Uh, it runs as a separate process, but it's all it's integrated as part of the GNOME project. Uh, and that's where all of the Wayland things happen for GNOME. And then all of the other GNOME components just integrate into Mutter to work together as one desktop environment. 